Salutations, good people. It's Melissa here, back with another video. Welcome, or welcome, in, and or welcome back, or whatever. Welcome, hello. <laughs> uh, welcome back for the awkwardness. I hope you stay for the uh, entertainment. I don't know. Whatever. I'm happy to have you. So today is a good old-fashioned uh, mini declutter. I'm not going to flat lay and show my drawers or anything like that because one that would take too much time and I have way too much stuff and I'm just going I've shown it like in my collection I've actually either decluttered cleaned out and I have added some but I'm also trying to just get rid of a lot of stuff that I just don't want anymore so I know what I like what I love formulas my lip collection is pretty much pared down to I know what I want, I know what I like, and my lipsticks, glosses, and stains. So I am fully okay on that front. It's eyeshadows and other items that I'm uh, a bit questionable on. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just get into it. Now, as much as I am rocking my Oreo shirt, woot woot, go Maryland. So, as much as I would love to be that type of girl where I do an eye look, and uh, to finish off the look, I'm going to pop on a pair of lashes. I'm not that girl. And I just need to get over it because. These are the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in the style Instaglam. How punny. We do love a pun. They're nice. They're soft. Um, they're cute. I just have no use. For lashes. I have decent lashes, mind you. And these are the Lily well, yeah, Lily lashes in the style Gaia. Now I wear glasses as you can see. I have been a bespectacled young lady since I was about eight years old. Um hmm. Mm -hmm. When I push my glasses up too far and my natural lashes kind of like push back, it's fine because after a little while, they my glasses slide, you know, a little oil or <laughs> or whatnot, they slide down my nose just a little bit and it's fine. It's fine. But when I put on a pair of false lashes and I put my glasses on, it actually hurts when I push my, my frames further up my nose and they're pressing against the lash and I'm just going, this hurts. I don't like this. This is weird. So I'm decluttering these lashes. I have another pack of lashes and yeah I'm just going to declutter these too. They're super cute. I'm just Yeah, I'm getting rid of these. This is just, it's, it's not going to work. This is just, it's a wrap. So, all of this is going bye bye. Bye! <laughs> I don't need you. Boom. That's out of my life. Another thing I'm getting rid of. And I'm doing another video, which is probably going to be the one I film after this, is primer. So I have the first one. Let me just use my shirt as a little catch-all here. So, <laughs> so this is the Lottie London Insta Filler Pore Eraser Stick. So there we go. I pretty much used it all up. I've had this for over a year. I mean, this is as far as it goes. I've pretty much used all of it. 
That's all that's left. You know, I'm a, I fell into the hype of you need primer. I remember when I first really started watching Beauty Tube or Butte Tube or Bushy Tube. It sounds like it should be on something else. But um mm -hmm. we're PG occasionally PG thirteen over here. <laughs> um when I fell into makeup and started watching that, you know, I was like, you have to prime your face. Use primer, use primer, use primer, use primer, use primer. So before I was ever cruelty free, anything like that, there were two primers that I was recommended to use. Actually three. I tried three and let me tell you about it real fast. So actually, no, I'm going to save it for the next video. But there were three primers. Rimmel, Maybelline, Baby, uh, baby Skin and uh, Becca uh, Mattifying Prior. That's all you gonna get. I'll do a brief video. These are gonna be in the Don't Drink the Kool-Aid video, but I am decluttering these three. This is all the primer I have left. I've pretty much decluttered or given away all my other primers. So Let's just open up. Since I showed you this, the Lottie London stick, I'm just going to show you. I still have a lot. I've barely used it. And that's like, I, I, this is something I also regret. And that's how much I've used in the putty primer. And you can see it's still completely full. It's just a little bit off the surface. I've already sprayed it down. Hopefully my friend uh, Shmi might be able to get some use out of it. Because even though I am a willy person, as you can see, I'm, I'm dewy right now. Even after mattifying myself and, and powdering, I'm oily. I've just learned to, one, I given up, I've given up soda. So I've been drinking a hell of a lot more water. So I am hydrated. I also put on a heavy cream at night or a nice thick serum or whatnot. And I moisturize my skin in the morning or when I'm getting up for work morning, which is mid to late afternoon for me when I'm about to go into work, if I'm not working at Ulta in the mornings. Um, I, I put on a good moisturizer and then before I even I let that sink in for about probably a good hour or so before I even put on any makeup, which I do my makeup uh, at work in a bathroom sometimes or at my desk. <laughs> so, and I've had, you know, it sinks in. It's penetrating time. I spray my face, slap on the makeup and on we go. But this made it feel like everything was just slip slide you know bounce skate rock right off my face so this is a no for me but remember when this was like a hot commodity this stayed sold out you know elf does have some great products but this is just oh elf makes the list one more time with me here so hmm and this is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner for Invisible Pores and Lines. Kills pores! Kills pores! Kills pores! Kills pores! Kills pores! Kills pores! This did absolutely nothing for me. As you can see, this is also nearly full as well. They're like, this is a dupe for tart. Tart. Um, clean slate or something they're ridiculously priced forty dollar primer. Uh <laughs> this just made my face feel oily. It didn't feel very good. I didn't like it. I really did not makes pores and lines invisible. One, I don't have very, I don't have fine lines on my face. I have a scar right here, which I don't have the corresponding parentheses, you know, frown line or from smiling. This is a scar from where a girl cut me trying to get my money from the book fair. I have these pock marks from when I had chicken pox as a little girl, and uh, I'm pretty like you know fat I'm plump <laughs> like my face is plump so you know, other than my hiker pimp hi hiker 
hyperpigmentation and you know my topography my bumps lumps and you know texture I'm okay like I'm okay with my skin at this point uh would I like you to be better yeah but this does not help whatsoever and kills pores kills pores kills pores it does nothing for me so I'm gonna see if my friend Shmi wants this too I've already sprayed let it air dry out for a little bit and then I've screwed like so that's why I'm not putting my finger back in it to like put it on my hands or palms or arms another ting that I'm decluttering is this little puppy this is the ColourPop and the collaborator that they've collaborated with 1700 times. Uh, <laughs> loose pigment in the color or shade The Ram. This is the part of the Zodiac Loose Pigment set that came out earlier this year. Late last year. I don't know. So many releases. You could just lose track. Um, <laughs> this caused some freakish reaction on my eye now I've used pressed pigments I have loose pigments in different shades I have some loose pigments from sleek makeup which are wonderful because they're like multi-chrome iridescent iridescent goodness it's just coming off this one solid pretty purple color but I'm seeing about six different shifts on this oh it's so cool and then this one here is also just a stunner so I have loose pigments I even have Vittenwild um loose pigments over here as well that I have used and played with and yeah it's kind of crazy like you don't get that much in here because I can see it all there you go can you see how empty that is like through the light but I have loose pigments I've used all of these and none of them ever cause me to have eye irritation oh excuse me my nose is itchy eye irritation and I had <clears throat> excuse me some bumps break out now I stopped that wasn't one of the reasons why I stopped wearing makeup for a hot minute because for nine ten days I didn't wear makeup this was the only thing I wore and that caused me that problem so I knew it was nothing else plus anything in my collection I have used I have used before and never had an issue I need to contact Colourpop because I want either a credit or my money back or I will I'm glad I will be glad to send this back they send me some tiny little postage I don't want this mess it's it hurt my eyes and it was beautiful because I saw Samantha March and that girl Shay and a couple other people and I saw some people with melanin use this and I'm like ooh, ooh, ooh. because my sign is always brown I'm a Capricorn and we just always get a sign browns that's all we get browns so I'm just thinking this was gorgeous and uh, the shifts and the glittery it's it was pr so pretty and I had such high hopes and I don't know why I ordered it but I did considering I have at least a half a dozen pigments sitting in my makeup drawer right here that I've used with no problem but this caused a problem so I've been explaining this for the last five minutes so this out off waiters and goodbye now this is also another elf product this is the hydrating water essence with purified water coconut water and algae or as I have a friend who is from England and they go algae algae and it sounds so elegant <laughs> uh, how they pronounce it I think it's so cute <laughs> she's probably gonna listen it's not cute I'm just that's just how I talk this is how I speak blah, blah, blah. I'm like it's still so cute she's like well your little accent is cute I don't have an accent I'm just from the mid-atlantic area 
whatever. So anywho, I thought I should have read more closely because I bought two of these. I have one that's open and I have about this much product from right here where that little banner is used. As you can see, this is a full, it's completely sealed on both sides, never been opened. The other one that has been opened. I thought this was like the spray. because I saw a couple of YouTubers and other people hyping up and saying, ooh, facial mist, essences, it's so good to use, blah, 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 blah. Mm. So when I got this, I was like, ooh, water essence. So I'm thinking it's a spray. It's not. Do I have the open one nearby? Hang on. I do. <laughs> so I have the open one. Here it is. As you can see, not that much used. Just to the line, just like I said. <laughs> and it's 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 a lotion. So when you shake it up, you take a good look at it, you realize it's it's a lotion. It's a weird and there's no sprayer. It's just like a toner. You know, you could, they said you can use your hands or a cotton pad and put it all over your face. No. I didn't like it whatsoever. Here's the unopened one. I'm decluttering the unopened one. And I'm going to ask my friend Shmi if she would like this one. Again, I used a cotton pad, a cotton round, and used it and I wiped it all over my face. I didn't like it. I have enough skincare items to get through that I don't need this and I could kick myself for spending 10 bucks on each of these. Bad boys come out to play. What is wrong with me? It's late and I'm slap happy. <laughs> I need to take some allergy medicine and go to bed. So let's move it on along which will be the largest. So these are going. And the largest, or the largest amount of items that are saying bye, 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 from my collectionist are eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I know, right? Eyeshadow palettes, Melissa. I know. I know, guys. I know. It's it's crazy. What happened to me? Well, I no longer will settle for mediocrity in my makeup or my life. So I'm saying ta-ta and not for now, ta-ta forever <laughs> to mediocre makeup. So this came in my Ipsy. I said, oh, I'll give this a shot. I'll try it out. This is the Betty Boop palette. This is the That's So Betty eyeshadow palette. And yeah, no. This is uh, getting ghost out of my collection real fast. Because there's little to no pigmentation. It's, I didn't like how it swatched. I've only swatched it. I haven't really, I'm not. Color scheme is something I can pull from my collection. It's nothing revolutionary, nothing new. And it's not even like it's fantabulous quality. So, nope. And it's got this plastic cover that makes it gets really smudgy, which I do have a lacquer cover. Mama. But that palette is, even though she's not fully cruelty free, palette's a thousand times better. This garbage, <coughs> swarage. <laughs> so, yeah. No. Love Betty Boop, love the motif, love the inspiration, love the design, but not the actual end product in the palette. Old school Siskel and Ebert, two thumbs down. No. Next, all of these are my bad habit dupes for five of the ABH palettes. So we have the dupe for, I'm just going to go through and show real fast. 
not going to take 20 minutes on each palette. So here is the dupe for the Prism palette. This is called Aura. Sorry, that was bright, so pardon me if I blinded anybody for a hot second. Okay. Yeah, no. I've used this once, and I turned out a fine look. But I will say the color faded. It was the shade Destiny right here. It's really crumbly and it faded really quickly off the eye. I was extremely surprised how fast it went. Ta ta! I'm just gonna wipe that on a towel right over there on my the edge of my bed. So yeah, that, bye bye, yeah, just, I'm not feeling it. And then this is a duplicate for the Maldon Renaissance, so. go it's oh I only touch I did not touch any of these uh, hello I did not touch any of these ashier shades right here I mean I have the original modern renaissance so yes it can muddy up and yeah it can be a little ashy but with a little finagling and that's the thing I'm I'm, I'm low-key kind of thinking I want to get rid of my modern renaissance but again, I'm trying to break my collector completionist mindset because that's just not helpful. If something doesn't work for me, I don't like the formula. I don't like how it turns out. I love the color scheme of half the palette like this. Love the color scheme of half of the palette. But if it doesn't work for me all the way, what's the whole daggone point? You know, what is the whole point of it all? Okay, and this is the dupe for the subculture palettes oh yeah there we go so you get like and again I own the subculture palette I love mine I was not part of the I hate it it's terrible I don't know which batch or which uh, generation of the palette I got but I will tell you, I love it. It was before we had the Jackie Ina palette come out. I felt it was a very brown and tan girl friendly type palette where the color saturation, the color story was very, very nice. And I enjoyed it immensely. Uh, I still enjoyed my subculture palette. I actually did uh, some looks with it couple months ago so I, I break her out and use her so I love it and this has not been touched whatsoever considering I have the original whole <laughs> I did not need this this is a duplicate for soft glam or soft clam as I like to call it sometimes just to be goofy so yeah this hasn't even been swatched <laughs> I, I didn't even touch this I had this for almost a year or so. Yeah, never. That's bad when you realize you haven't touched any of your makeup. And I like the original better. I have soft glam, and it's the most basic. It's one of the most more basic palettes. It's a beautiful basic palette, but super simple, super easy to utilize, and. And, and just rock with so yeah no and then here is the last one that I have and this is the duplicate for the Norvina palette and this is the Norvina palette that came out this is the dupe that for the Norvina palette because there's been a lot of Norvina palettes but this one was the one from summer 20 spring summer 2018 so this is a dupe for that and this I did use this I had to notice I had to go in with a wet base to ensure that it didn't look ashy on me. 
Same with my actual Norvina palette. It could run ashy on me. And I'm not the deepest of skin tones. And it can run ashy. So, yeah, no. So I'm getting rid of all of these. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. I'm getting rid of all that. Oh, and this too. Got that in that. Was it not the boxy? This was the. How do you open this accursed thing? One of the Ipsy bags that was a, a hot Ipsy boxes that was a hot dag on Monkey Full Mess last month. So yeah. I swatched this one time. You only get a nut, not even a full nub of product. That is all you get right there. It's turned all the way up. That is all you get. It's an iridescent ultraviolet trastique. Trastique. Looks like a pencil. They chopped off part of the pencil. It just has that part. This is just so. I'm not keeping anything that I don't like in my collection. And I've been kind of just looking through my drawers going, I don't know about this item. I don't know about that item. I don't know about this. I don't know about that one. I'm just going, I'll wait this one out. I'll wait this one out. I'm just, and what is this? Yeah, no. Uh, I'm just going to triple check myself, make sure. Yeah, wait. Scratch that. One more. And. Is it even still? It looks like it's still decent. This is a Wet n Wild Jelly in the shade Code Red. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's actually still jelly, still good, still has pigment. Didn't dry out, so I stored it in a cool, dry place. Kept lid super tight. Nope, nope, nope. Also, side note, I paused my Ipsy box for November, so there will be no Ipsy unboxing, either Ultimate or Glam Bag Plus, because I'm not trying to hear it. <laughs> I'm not. It was, it sucked. That's all I'm going to get into. It sucked. The What I saw, the spoilers and everything, it sucked. Oh my gosh, I'm cold. I didn't even turn on my heat in here. It's 20 degrees, and, it, and I'm sitting by my window. It's freezing. So, on that note, beautiful people. Whew. That is what I'm getting out of my collection. I'm saying bye bye to all that mess. It is finding new homes. I might sell it, donate it. Don't know, but it's 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 getting out of my house. That's that's for sure. It's leaving my collection. It's saying ta ta forever. <sighs> so, also, if you guys could just please do me a solid and. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. Contact somebody you haven't in a while. Let them know that you're thinking about them. And that, you know, you wish them well. Also, if you could just please make smart choices, you will thank me. You will thank yourself. More importantly, you will just thank yourself for making smart choices. They help you out in the long run. Point blank period. Okay. And peace easy. I'll see you guys next time. And you guys have a great day, night, whatever.